So squatting is something that hopefully is happening in most weight rooms across the country, uh, but unfortunately it's an exercise that is, is often butchered. The form is not exactly what we're wanting to see. Now I will say real quickly that there are lots of different forms and techniques that can work for individual athletes. So I don't know if there's a one size fits all approach when it comes to squatting, but there are a few things that I look at uh, to see if the athlete is at least capable of doing this. I will say too that what I'm about to demonstrate, that technique may differ a little bit depending if you're trying to throw 500 pounds on your back and squat it compared to if you're just testing to see if you have the, the right raw ingredients to be able to squat properly. So again, if you're in a powerlifting competition or you're going for that one rep max in the weight room, your technique may be a little bit different than that and, and that's completely okay. But I want to see that the athlete has the raw ingredients, the raw, uh, the, you know, the hip mobility, the ankle mobility in order to be able to get into the right positions to squat properly. So one thing that I will often see is as an athlete squats, you'll see that maybe they can start with their feet relatively straightforward, but as they get lower and lower, their feet start to pivot out and they end up in a position that looks like that. Now, one big problem with that, if you look at where my knee is relative to my foot, you'll see my foot is going off this way, my knee is going off that way. That torque that you're placing on the knee there is a potential injury mechanism for something like ACL tears. So it's something that we wanna to try to avoid as much as possible. Now, one area that that might be stemming from is ankles. If the ankle is not allowed to move, uh, so for instance, if I, when I squat down deep, you can see that I have to have a large amount of, of bend in my ankle here to be able to get in that position. If I don't have that, I'm either gonna have a squat that looks more like this, where I'm placing tons of load on my back, or I will pivot out the feet in order to make up for that. So one way that we can test to see if it is an ankle issue is to take a dowel, place it about two to three inches ahead of the foot, and we want to see keeping the heel down and the foot straight, can the athlete get the knee all the way to the dowel. If they can't, there's probably some limitations within the ankle. So a couple things that we can do to try to fix that. Number one, if you don't have foam rollers in your weight room, I strongly, strongly suggest that you try to pick up a few foam rollers and utilize these. The easiest thing that you can have the athlete do is just foam roll a calf. So placing the back of the lower leg on top of the foam roller, crossing the other leg on top, and just nice and slowly working through those tissues in the calf going back and forth. This will not be comfortable, but the more that it hurts, probably the more the athlete needs to be doing it. Another thing that we can try to do as a fix for this is getting it to this half kneeling position. We can place a dowel just to the outside of the base of the pinky toe. And again, knowing that people are gonna to wanna to collapse their arch and move their knee in as a compensation for those stiff ankles, we're gonna place you in a position where you can't really do that. So by bringing the knee to the outside of the dowel, it's keeping my foot in a good position and keeping it from being able to collapse trying to keep the heel all the way down on the ground so that I challenge the extent of the excursion of my ankle joint. And we're just gonna move back and forth like this, essentially putting WD-40 inside that ankle joint and trying to get it to move the right way. So we might shoot for three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions of just mobilizing this ankle joint back and forth. This isn't gonna work magic right away, but over time, repeatedly doing this throughout the, the off season, you will notice some tremendous changes in the ability of the athlete to squat.